Hi, it's Marty Manning. I'm at the Taylor Morrison Design Studio. Boy, uh, they really give you lots of great ideas here. I, I just want to say we've been so excited to have the Taylor Morrison folks on board with us with Excellence in Education this year. Uh, and Bob Thompson, uh, well, I know this goes way back for you, doesn't it? Yeah, it runs deep in my roots, uh, Marty. Yeah, my mom has been an educator all her life, and my brother is also in education. Um, so this program and partnering um, with you has been you know a great thing and we've been real excited this whole year to be a part of it there you go excellence in education long a part of bob's family and uh and brandon cleveland uh, also uh i know that uh, you kind of had a special teacher in your life absolutely back in high school when i heard about this this program i just was really excited about it because i think that a lot of people out there have a teacher that's really special to them and uh, it, Tim goes from me. I had a very special teacher in high school that, you know, learned a lot from him and, you know, really went beyond the classroom with him. So I think it's a, a amazing the impact a teacher can have on a student's life. Well, we appreciate Taylor Morrison being part of this. And now let's meet our Excellence in Education Award winners for this year. Well, here we go. It's uh, Excellence in Education once again. Uh, this is our first teacher of the year. I'm so excited. And this year we have Taylor Morrison with us, so we're really excited. Come on, let's go meet Mrs. Capriotti at Patterson Elementary School in Gilbert. Uh, Taylor Morrison and 99.9 .9 KEZ have a program that we call Excellence in Education. And we go around and we find excellent teachers <laughs> and we reward them. And we think that we've found an excellent teacher here. Would you kids agree with us? Yeah. I daughter will forever be grateful to her teacher for all that she learned from her and in her words she said my teacher was the most amazing beautiful talented and smart teacher I will ever meet I wish I could take sixth grade again <laughs> just tell me how you feel about being a teacher here um, well, right now I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> um, this is my 14th year in teaching, so um, I've certainly seen changes over the years, and to see the excitement in their faces and to prepare them for what lies ahead is just always very rewarding. So this comes with great surprise and a great deal of appreciation. You are, let me make sure, Cindy Quartz, correct? I am, I am. How long have you been here at the school? 29 years. And I believe Logan is in your class? Yes, Logan's right there. There's Logan, okay. Uh, well, Logan, your mom wrote a very nice letter. Uh, the wonderful teacher, it says, opened Oakwood. That's true. You were right here at the beginning, continuing to strive and make the children your priority. Cindy believes each and every child is special in their own unique way, she constantly strives to create learning environments to fit each child's learning ability and level. Uh, third grade, pretty special year. Very special year. A year of maturing and responsibility. And Cindy Quartz is amazing at working with the parents and children during this challenging, sometimes frustrating experience and process. Uh, her experience in education and her own personal experience as a mom have provided Cindy with the tools to help us guide our children to be the best for the future. She couldn't have said it better, Cindy. You are a very special, special individual and an excellent teacher. And we are so fortunate to have you here. Hello, everyone. I don't know who you are. Guys. <laughs> wow, I wish I could get my kids to do that. We got a, a letter from James Orcutt. Yes, sir. Uh, and he says uh, that Mr. Whitehead gives 200% to his kids, right? Yeah. yeah, you guys can make noise whenever you want. It's okay. <laughs> he not only teaches, he also works tirelessly with the kids on volunteer efforts, uh, including a charity concerts, service club, Relay for Life, and more. Now, I understand you dress up a, a little bit every now and then. Is that right? Yes, yes I do, sir. I do, do dress up. And the kids actually will dress up in May. They will dress up as, uh, as characters from U.S. history from 1830 to 1941. And, but I dress up a little prior to that time period, and that involves me having to take off my beard uh -oh. and, and my mustache, because the gentleman I dress up as did not, ha did not wear a beard or mustache, and that is George Washington. Ah. I detect a little bit of an accent, don't I? From Alabama, sir. Uh, Alabama. <laughs> no, I, 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 actually, actually, I'm from, uh, from a country called Zimbabwe. Oh, really? Which is in Southern Africa. Oh, that's fabulous. I've been at Fremont Junior High. This is my 23rd year. Oh, congratulations. Well, let's hear it for your teacher, Mr. Whitehead. <laughs> the recipient of our Excellence in Education Award from 99.9 .9 KEZ and Taylor Morrison. We like to reward excellent teachers. And we got a letter from uh, somebody that you'll know, Angie Pohl. 
And she's here today. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Good to see you. She wrote us a beautiful letter, and it says, uh, Ms. Julie Pascal should be the Excellence in Education Award winner because she is the best kindergarten teacher. And I know you kids agree, right? Yeah! <laughs> she taught school for 10 years herself. She came in contact with lots of good teachers. She knows one when she sees one. I love this sentence here. She says, when I ask my son what he likes about school, he says, Mom, I love my teacher, Ms. Pascal. Could you please... Make sure that I always get a teacher like her. She always has a smile, and every time I come in here, she always says, Mrs. LeCount, you're not going to believe this. Check this out. Look who's reading. Look what they're doing in math. So I love that you celebrate our kids, too, and they are in amazing hands. So um, kudos to our kids um, being incredible for her as well, and uh, congratulations. So deserving. Hi there. Hello. My name is Marty Manning. I'm from 99.9 .9 KEZ. Have you ever heard of that station? I have. Oh, good. good. Oh. <sighs> that makes us so much better. We got a letter from uh, Tammy Prophet. She says, at the start of second grade, her daughter was struggling with reading and comprehending. Uh, after the first couple of uh, weeks of school, I wrote Mrs. Pena a letter to help her better understand Cameron. Within a day of the letter, Mrs. Pena requested a meeting, and each week that has passed since that meeting has been nothing but an example of Mrs. Pena's commitment to education and believing in her students. It's literally mesmerizing to watch the student that our daughter has transformed into when she reads and does her homework each night. It literally feels like we're witnessing a miracle that only results from great teachers Aww. we call them excellent teachers and that's why we have a little something yeah. special for you You're a Monique Pena, outstanding teacher. Uh, thank you for your commitment. You're the winner of our Excellence in Education Award from 99.9 .9 KEZ and our friends at Taylor Morrison, Homes Inspired by You. Well, thank you because you have made me feel very special today and I am thrilled to have this. <laughs> We're here for a very special reason. Because we think you have an excellent teacher, and I bet you agree, right? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Mr. Rubel is the best teacher because he's really caring about other people, and he, if someone has a problem, he always tries to fit other people in and um, will always try to help other people. He also lets us um, do some fun things, like um, having our reading groups, and we get to read a book and do uh, different things with it. Like, if we get in fights, he kind of helps us. Like, he flips us down or flips off us. And I like how he flips us up to copper coin, and that's the last thing. And then we have 100 copper coins. We get a game day. You don't get in fights, do you? No. No. <laughs> Mr. Rubble is my favorite teacher ever because he pushes us to be the bestest we can be, and we're always doing extra credit assignments and getting really good grades. Mr. Rubel is the best teacher I had since I started school because when I was in kindergarten I was really nervous and for the last few years I was really nervous and he really stepped up and was nice. You're not nervous anymore? No. Oh, good. I'm at the um, Montessori Education Center in uh, Mesa, and uh, none of this is a surprise because we had a little malfunction with the camera, so we're doing it all again, but we're having fun, aren't we? <laughs> I want you to meet uh, husband and wife team, Cassie and Pete Mackey. So we've been working together for about nine years now. Yeah. Ten years now. Okay. How long have you been married? Fourteen years oh, now. Oh, you don't have to, have to think about it. Fourteen years uh, now. Right. We've been married 14 years, oh, yes. Oh, that's uh, congratulations. <laughs> we have fourth, fifth, and sixth graders in this classroom. Okay. And um, it makes it really nice for collaborative learning and working with each other. We also have role models and leaders that will help our younger ones aspire to that. So it's kind of real world. So where they're working with different um, age groups at all times. And you're also the principal. Yes, I'm also the principal. I um, take um, some time out of the day, and Pete's here on his own <laughs> working with these guys. But they're amazing kids. Seven, eight. Good job, good job, hey! Good job, good job, hey! Good job, good job, hey! hey! Thank you guys. 
we're here at uh, North Canyon High School. Home of the Rattlers. Home of the Rattlers. I love that. <laughs> we're here to present our Excellence in Education Award to Kat Lawless. Are you kidding? We are not no. kidding. We got a lovely letter from Bethany Johnston, and she says, she's quoting here, don't give up. Don't back down from an argument just because you're unsure, and don't hide yourself. Those are just a few of the momentous lessons I've learned from this amazing teacher, she says. There thank you, thank you. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't do this as a teacher for the gift. I do it for the presence of them. I, they allow me in their lives, and that's what it's all about. Um, I would do this first before anything, be a teacher. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> We're here to present your teacher with a very special award today. Uh, hi. Hi, how are you? That's so exciting. I'm doing very well, and uh, I see you have a little kindergartner on the way. Yes, I do. Pretty soon? Yep, four more weeks left. Oh, okay. She's nice, and she helps us read. She cares about us. Miss Hubbard loves us. She helps us with our al alphabet. Can you do some of the alphabet for me? Mm -hmm. Stay. 